Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, in the last episode, we built this Bentley T series. It looks absolutely amazing. And in this episode, we are going to be building the Bentley Continental Super Sport. Uh, this car is in a very bad condition, so we're going to get it straight over to the car lifter, and we're going to fix it up. Um, you can see the rust on the bodywork is just terrible. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take all of these... Actually, we can leave body parts on, can't we? I think we can. And then we do it at the end with the um, other thing. The welder, that's it. Right, so we're going to lift the car up. And we are going to remove all of the... Oh, we've got a tr transfer case. So it's got front four-wheel drive this car then. Which is a very interesting indeed. Uh, so we've got to take the front drive shaft out before we can take the transfer case out. And then we can take the gearbox out. Right, so gearbox is now out. I'm going to take out the exhaust sections and then we're going to try and drop the engine out. Uh, where is our engine lift? Here we go. We're going to move this over to the lifter. Unmount front differential. Hmm. Okay, so we need to basically remove the entire of the front of the car. Uh, so let's go and remove these parts then. Brake caliper B. We'll get rid of that. Right, so drive axle from there comes out. And then the left side rims come out as well. So this engine I'm planning on um, having fully upgraded as well. So we're going to make a custom engine with performance parts in it. Um, I think as well we're going to need to... Yes, take this differential out from underneath. Now if we drop this down, we should be able to remove the engine. Hopefully. There we go. Engine has been removed. I can't speak today. Wow. Um, so we're going to go into the engine bay. We're just going to take the ABS pumps and the brake servos and all that out. So that we can repair those when it comes to repairing later. Oh, that's not the right bit. Here we go. Battery. Out you come. And then let's lift the car back up. Right, so we've got to take uh, bearings out. We've got to take our wheel hubs out. Take our suspension arms out as well. Got to make sure that everything is completely removed so that we can make this perfect. There we go. Inner tie rods, they come out. And the steering knuckles. Uh, those are accessible from the engine bay. So we'll sort them out in a minute. Uh, here we go. Wheel hubs. Ah, we need the wheel hub bearings out first. There we go. Lovely. Um, and then tie rods. Let's get rid of those. Oh, what are you doing? Camera's going crazy today. Right, take you out. Uh, we can take the steering rack out now, which is good. Uh, sway bar links. Uh, 
Uh, bottom suspension arm. And that is that done. Okay, let's go over to here. We've got a, a catalytic converter to take out. Got two middle mufflers. And then we will also have the W12 rear mufflers for the Bentley Continental. Right, so let's take these out. I have a um, very specific design I want to try and do with this car. And it's going to be um, completely different. Actually, I think we've done the design on one car in the past. Um, but I think it would look really cool. Because I've seen it on... Um, with this car in Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. They do a paint design for this car that looks absolutely stunning. It's red with black wheels. So hopefully we can pull something sort of like that off in this. There are so many parts in this though. This is crazy. We're probably going to have to split this into two episodes just because how many parts there actually are. Rear end sway bar. That's good. Uh, take this out. I wasn't actually expecting so many parts. Right, suspension arms are out. Right, rubber bushings are out. Um, we can now take our fuel pump and our fuel tank out. Here we go. These rims are so nice though. I want to try and keep stock rims on this. Um, just because they are some of the nicest rims in this game, actually. Um, I'm hoping that in Car Mechanic, um, soon they bring some more DLC out. Cause, or bring out a new game, because we really need that. Uh, we definitely need to get a new Car Mechanic game out. And when it comes out on PC, it needs to come out on Xbox at the same time. Here we go. Rear sway bar has come out. Rear air suspension. Oh yeah, it's air suspension in this car, isn't it? Not um, springs. Here we go. Another rear suspension arm. Can we take this one out now? Yes, we can. And then our rubber bushings. And this should come out. Uh, and then we can take rear sway bar B out and then just take out all of these rubber bushings. And that should be the car completely disassembled then. There we go. Cross member has been removed. We'll drop the car down. And just double check that these... Uh, radiator fans are removed. And then the intercooler has to be taken out from underneath the car now. Uh, how do we get into there? There we go. Large intercooler. Removed. Everything is now gone. Uh, so let's drop that down. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair all of the items that we can repair now to make our life a little bit easier along the road. And then we're also going to just sell all the scraps so that when we're building the engine we don't get into that bottleneck stage. Um, because we could sort of kept getting into that bottleneck stage in all of the episodes. And I just remembered as I was taking parts off that I forgot to completely clear it. So uh, we still have a lot of parts there to deal with. But that is looking very nice indeed. Right, inventory. Below or equal to 99. There we go. So we have loads of parts left here, which is good. Um, so what engine is it that this car is currently using? Um, car status. So we are using a W12 twin turbo, which has three, 633 horsepower. 
So um, we're going to add, we're not going to add, we're going to create a new one. Um, I'm looking at the bottom for the image of it. W12, there we go, twin turbo. That is a big engine. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get our W12 engine block. Or anything that is W12. Uh, we'll get a load of these, see what we need. Uh, we'll get 12 of those, why not? Uh, so we have a special flywheel for this. Uh, oil pan. Ah, so we're using W12 pistons with comrades. So we need 12 of those. We also need uh, rod caps as well. 12 of those. And also I want to get our pistons from here. So we will have a lot of extra power. So let's start with this engine block, which I'm actually surprised by this. I don't know what I was expecting. Obviously, it says W12, but I was kind of expecting like um, sort of like V6 and then V6 again. Not this, if that makes any sense. I don't know whether that's how engines are actually supposed to be. Um, like W's are supposed to be like this, but it's interesting to see. It's definitely interesting to see this because it is a completely different layout to any other cards out there, really. W engines are not very common. There we go. We zoom in now. Crankshaft bearing caps. We'll put those in and get the rod caps in as well. There we go. Rod caps. In they go. Only 10 more to go. Um, so I am Playway. I am still waiting on that Bugatti DLC. The W16 engine from the Bugatti. But, uh, you know, this engine is still pretty good to work with so far. Oh, we need, um, how many crankshaft bearing caps then? Uh, maybe another four. Is it not those ones? Hang on, let me... I thought it was different ones. Ah, no, it's normal crankshaft bearing caps. Yeah, it is. That's good. There we go, piston rings are in. And some rod caps. There we go, let's install the bearing caps again. Con rods, they can go in. Again, and there we go. I think. We're actually two-thirds of the way in, I think. Nearly done. We've got four more pistons left to uh, put into the engine. Uh, let's get this piston in. And the rod caps. And here we go. That is the final piston inside of the engine. Oh, I don't know what happened with the camera there. Uh, so let's get the W12 oil pan in place. And what oil filter are we working with? A W12 one. So 
Uh, we should already have that there. There we go. Engine is in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it around. Uh, and we are going to take a look in tune-in shop and see exactly what W12 parts we actually have. So we have the air filter, camshaft, we have engine heads, exhaust manifolds, flywheels, exhaust sections. That's decent actually that they've got two of them. Um, I think that is looking good. Right, uh, let's get the parts mounted onto it then. We'll start with the first engine head. Right, so we have two camshafts and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven caps on each line. So we need 14, 28 camshaft caps in total. Um, we also need another two camshafts, which is surprising. Um, we also need 12 spark plugs. Ten, twelve. And then we need... Ten, twenty, eight. There we go. Right, let's get started. Uh, let's chuck these cam gears on. We actually got an exact amount for once, which is decent. I bought the right amount of cam gears, but the wrong amount of everything else. Here we go. Camshaft caps are all going in. There we go. We are a third of the way through. No, we're not even a third of the way. It's a quarter of the way of all of these camshafts and spark plugs. This looks like it's going to have a lot of power, though, based on the fact that we have 600 already and we have a lot of part boosts, pretty much. So we've got extra parts. It's almost a V12 kind of boost kind of thing, which our V12, we managed to get like 1400 horsepower, I think, out of it. Or 1200. So I can imagine there is going to be a lot of power with this. Based on the fact that we have pretty much twice as many parts. Obviously, the engine heads, we've got the same amount, but we've got extra camshafts compared to the V12s. There we go, that's all that. Uh, we've got a... Have we got a thermostat? No, we haven't. Let's grab one of those. Chuck that in while we're at it. There we go. Thermostat has been installed. Um, oh, we've actually got the intake manifold we can put in. There we go, that's in. And also our fuel rail, which we've already bought. Uh, let's get this sorted out then. Cam gears. What's this here? Timing chain sprocket. Hmm, interesting. Right, let's go back onto here. Camshaft caps. Back to these things. There's so many of them. Here we go, spark plug, camshaft cap again. Camshaft cap, lovely.
Here we go. Spark plugs going in. And we are nearly done. We've just got four more camshaft caps to put on. Can I not count? Did I already buy camshaft caps? Apparently I did and I just can't do maths. We've got loads of extras. And that's all that done. Um... So we need time and chain sprocket, time and chain A. Uh, let's see how this goes. So we need time and chain A there. And we also need another time and chain A. And then timing cover. There we go. Uh, let's fit in our flywheel. Why not? Um, right, let's get the engine head cover in. And we've got ignition coils in this, so that is good. Let's get those ignition coils sorted out. Uh, w... Actually, no, they're normal ignition coils. Twelve of those. Each one of these is giving a three-quarter percent increase. So if you work that out, uh, maths... Maths brain's not working... You're getting an extra 9% with all of these ignition coils just swapped out. An extra 9% of power. Which is crazy, if you ask me. Here we go, that's all the coils in. Now it's time for the intake manifold to go on. Uh, we need to buy ourselves an intake manifold cover too. Where is it? There we go. Intake manifold cover. Have we got two throttles on this? By the looks of it, we do. So that means we can jump straight back out to here. W12 and buy ourselves an extra one. I'm kind of surprised that this has two throttles. To be fair, it's got to suck a lot of air in, so... It needs the space. Uh, exhaust manifold, W12. Get that. I don't like that exhaust manifold. I'm sorry. It looks too plain and simple. Okay, so we got an air filter base there. Obviously, we've got two of those by the looks of it then. Nice big turbocharger there. Uh, so we need another air filter base. And also we need air filters. Uh, tune in shop. We need two of these. I don't know how many I've already bought. I probably already bought two. I'd bought one. Okay. There we go. Air filter is in. And we'll install that. Uh, now we need a fuel filter, which we're going to grab from the tuning shop again. Fuel. Nope, that's not the right word. Fuel. There we go. Fuel filter. Right, now we need to go to the front of the engine, take a look at all of these. So we need uh, two idle rollers, A's, three of them. Uh, 
Uh, idle. Here we go. One, two, three, and then we need a V8 power steering pump and a ordinary alternator. Ordinary alternator and then go down to P for the power steering pump. Here we go, V8. Uh, and then we're also going to grab our clutch plate, our pressure plate. And then I'm guessing we're also going to need clutch release bearing. Yes. Right, let's get that crankshaft pulley in. Oh, we don't have a water pump. That'd be a good shout. We may need that. W12, there we go. And we need a W12 pulley as well. Performance alternator and performance power steering pump. Now we need our serpentine belt here. And also a belt tensioner. I think it's actually the W12 one. So I've just bought the wrong one. Perfect. There we go. W12 belt tensioner. By the looks of it, everything is okay on the engine side. So if we just grab our clutch plates, put these in. And our clutch release bearing. And that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>